everybody, it's Kelly, and I'm here to do from Shirley's Cottage right now. And I'm gonna rearrange you just a little bit. It is Saturday, September 18th, 2021. And it is absolutely, absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. So um, right off the bat, I'll tell you that I am gonna do Black Thread Studio, but we're not gonna be sewing or crafting or do anything like that today. When I get done with from Shirley's Cottage, Sam, my son Sam, who, um, oh boy, what a difference a week makes, and God is good, and God answers prayers. So we're headed in the right direction. So that's what I will say about that for any of you who were putting out prayers and good vibes. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, my mom and Sam and I are going to, it's my weekend with my mom, Shirley, and we are going to go someplace, we're going to head um, to two different places. We're going to Holy Hill, and um, I don't know the exact town that it's in, so I will find out. I'm going to do the Black Thread Studio later on today uh, when my mom and Sam and I venture out. So we're headed to Holy Hill, and I will give you all the information and show you video, and then our way out to Holy Hill. We are gonna stop at a place that um, along the road, there's all these signs that say, amazing, spectacular sculpture. And it's this guy that makes sculptures out of found objects and just old junk. And um, it's just a crazy, unbelievable place. So I'm gonna try to take video and some footage of both of those places and share that with you tomorrow on Sunday. So that's what's in store. And for right now, we're here to do from Shirley's Cottage. And my recipe book is still filling up. And um, if you've been here with me, thank you. If you're new, then I will let you know that my mom is Shirley and she wrote a column for the Cambridge newspaper, the hometown, hometown news for many years and um, I am just reading these. She doesn't do it any, any longer. Um, it's been a handful of years that she's been gone from there, but um, I love to read the articles and share them with you. They all have a little recipe at the bottom. So that's why I have this book to keep all the little recipes together. So I'm trying to find the one that I already got ready for you today. It's not October yet, but October is coming. And I saw the date on this one. Here it is. Thursday, October 8th, 2009, from Shirley's Cottage. These poles are made for walking. So that's the one that we're doing today. And the recipe on this one is going to be lemonade chicken. So get your pencils and papers and recipe books ready. Okay, so here we go. Oh. What happened? Oh, never mind. I was looking at the wrong page. Okay, these poles are made for walking. I used to walk. Beth, one of my students in beauty school, got me walking. She graduated. I moved. I blame my knee surgery on why I quit walking. Actually, I had quit long before that. I wish exercise was in my vocabulary. Now it's whining. My knee, my back, no time. Then one day I got a phone call that helped to put me back on the road. It was a call of concern, caring, and love, an honest, truthful call that said it like it was. I, just started to, I decided to start small and try to change my attitude. <clears throat> Excuse me. The girls in the family had started us a serious walking program. I knew I couldn't keep up with them. I remember one time though, I was walking, it was in my walking days and I walked around the lake, five miles around. Oh, she said that after I said it. it. It was in my walking days, I walked around the lake about five miles. They came looking for me. Recently, my daughter was here from Minnesota. That would be me. We were shopping and I wanted to go home. We were close to home. She told me to start walking and she would pick me up in a minute. Well. I was home before she came. It wasn't very far, but I had walked it. My back hurt, but the knees were fine. I was a little breathless, but isn't that what you are supposed to be? I've been walking ever since, two weeks, but a determined start. 
I refused to use the walker I had for my knee surgery. Although there is a lady who walks by the cottage with a walker, I don't know her, but am proud of her for her efforts. On occasion, I buy the Woman's World magazine. The October 5th cover story was, I walked off 410 pounds. Now, if that doesn't get your attention, nothing will. She started walking in the pool, then inside on a track and finally outside with walking poles. Of course, she changed her eating too. I believe that things happen in threes. First, the phone call, my girl's walking program, then the lady that walked off 410. It must be a sign that my time for walking is now. I never heard of walking poles before. One day last year, I stopped to talk to a lady walking with ski poles. She said, it was, she said that it is the only way she can walk. I thought of digging my son's ski poles out, but never did. For several years now, I have been walking short sprints, not on the lake road. I am still hesitant to hobble with all the seasoned walkers. The magazine suggests going on eBay for Nordic walking poles. They found some for $17. The magazine suggests going on eBay. Oh, I just read that, sorry. If you Google Nordic walking poles, there is a wealth of information, but they are expensive. The walking stick may be my pole of choice for a while. I don't know if Nikki is a walker or not. She walks enough at work. I do know she likes casserole. Here's her, here's her segue. I don't know if Nikki is a walker or not. She walks enough at work. I do know she likes casseroles. So here's for Nikki. Lemonade chicken. You will need six boneless, skinless chicken broth, breasts halved, 16, oh, one 16 ounce can of frozen lemonade thawed, a third cup soy sauce, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I don't think I've ever tasted this, Mom. Place chicken in grease, nine by 13 baking dish. Combine the rest of the ingredients and pour over the chicken. Cover with foil and bake at 300, 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. Uncover, pour juices over chicken, and cook 10 more minutes. Enjoy. I mean, what a spin on lemon chicken, huh? Just using thawed frozen lemonade. Wow, I bet that has a lot of flavor to it. Okay, Mom, there's another one I'm going to try. So... This article is across the page that I did that has her, my mom and my grandma on it. So that, of course, sounds good. And, of course, I feel like I want to make that one. So that was Shirley's Cottage for today. I'm going to head and go pick up Shirley, and we'll head to Holy Hill. I hope everybody has a really beautiful day. And then look for um, Holy Hill and... Um, the amazing, spectacular sculpture tomorrow, and we'll see how that turns out. So thank you for being here, and enjoy your Saturday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.